Let's continue our coverage of the recall election. The governor will be keeping his job, but if he'd lost, the effects would have been felt from California all the way to Washington, D.C. The new governor would appoint a new senator should Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein resign, potentially tipping the balance of power in the nation's capital. If Governor Newsom were to lose in very blue California, it would be an enormously troubling sign for Democrats nationwide in the midterms and beyond. So the recall election is on track to be one of the most expensive to date. The Secretary of State says California has already spent close to $300 million. Our team coverage on the recall election continues right now. ABC 10's Carly Gomez live with reaction from Newsom's opponents now that he has survived the recall. But first, ABC 10's Zach Fuentes is live with reaction from voters about the news that the governor is staying in office. Zach, what are people saying this morning? Yeah, Bria, we're at a donut shop here in Sacramento. We know that this is one place where people will be coming out in the morning. We were speaking with people. One man here I spoke with earlier actually broke the news to him. He did not know what the results of the recall election were. Another man I just spoke with a few minutes ago says that he is happy with the outcome that we have right now, but still says he would like things to move in a different direction in terms of how the community is interacting with each other. Take a listen to what he had to say to me. And to the, uh, to the division, but I don't see that happening. You know, it's it's really it's tragic what's happening, but uh, I don't see a lot of movement in either direction. You know, one thing we know is that a lot of people did come out to make sure that their voice was heard. And that is still a process that is happening. Counties have 30 days to make sure that the vote is certified. We were speaking with Sacramento County just yesterday. They said that they are going to take every minute they can to make sure that they that vote is certified, that the process is done correctly, that every vote is, in fact, counted. We were behind the scenes there yesterday taking a look at that process. Right now, I'm going to toss things over to Carly. Carly, we know that the votes are still being counted, but a lot of votes are already in reflecting what people wanted to say through their ballots. Yeah, that's right. Whether you voted yes or no, the race has really been interesting, especially when it comes to the candidates and how that all played out, especially with the order of replacement candidates. And we know that so far over 9 million votes have been cast in the area and still counting. Now, all the votes continue to be counted over the next 30 days, as you mentioned, but we're at about 64% of voters saying no to the recall, 36 yes. The numbers overwhelmingly in Newsom's favor than was previously expected. The latest poll before Election Day had shown Governor Newsom with 55 percent and take a look where the no on the recall recall votes came from uh, spanning most of the coastline from northern into southern California and most of those big cities from the Bay Area inland towards Sacramento as well as Southern California. Now 4 million people regardless of political party or vote did not pick a candidate at all. About 5 million people did choose a replacement candidate. Here's what Larry Elder had to say. I can't think of anything that this man has done in the last two years that success he deserves another day in office. However, we recognize that we lost the battle, but we are certainly going to win the war. Elder went on to tell his supporters to take the defeat graciously. Had Newsom lost the election, here's where the other candidates would have stacked up. The overwhelming winner, Larry Elder, with the replacement candidate with nearly 50% of the vote. It was a close second for Democrat Kevin Pafrath, who beat out former San Diego Mayor Republican Kevin Faulkner by a percentage point. Now, Zach mentioned that the votes are still being counted and certified, of course, but the replacement candidate order at this point could change as the votes still continue to come in, but the overall result of the election is very and extremely unlikely to change. Well, yeah, indeed. Okay, Carly, thank you very much. Maybe you're wondering what your neighbors in various counties, uh, how they voted yesterday. Let's take a look at that. So California, there's the overall vote total. So we're going to take you to Sacramento County. Obviously, that's holding with pretty much how the state went. Let's go to Nevada County. Obviously, no 58%. That is a, a blue county in the middle of a sea of red. We take it to Placer County, yes in favor of the recall. We go to El Dorado County, yes in favor of the recall. Yuba County, yes in favor of the recall. We showed, shoot over to Yolo County, 
expectedly no on the recall 71 to 29 percent here's a big difference down here i want to show you san joaquin county 56 percent no on the recall you go down to uh stanislaus county next door counties and you see a vastly different result but that's pretty typical with stanislaus and uh and san joaquin we'll shoot over to uh uh, Merced County, obviously, and then Calaveras, yes, at 62%. So those are the counties, some of your neighbors and friends, how they voted. But obviously, as it stands now, the governor is, you could say governor with the no vote, is up 28 points, 30 days left to certify. Doubtful, much is going to change in terms of that. Bria? Well, thanks for that mm -hmm. breakdown. We want to keep in mind this morning that the governor is up for election again in just more than a year. The 2022 gubernatorial election takes place next November 8th, again in 2022. Conservative talk show host Larry Elder and Kevin Faulkner have both said that they will run for governor again, this time directly facing Newsom at the polls.